Hi everyone, thanks for watching Health Matters. I'm Kelsey Meehan with Alberta Health Services and I'm here today with Hope Boychuk. Hope is a dietetic intern with Nutrition Services and Alberta Health Services and today we're going to be talking a little bit about having a heart healthy diet and what a heart healthy diet involves. Thanks for joining me Hope. So we talk a lot about the importance of having a heart healthy diet in our lives and what exactly does that look like? A heart healthy diet is lower in sodium. The recommendations are to aim for 2300 milligrams or less sodium per day, which is about the equivalent of a teaspoon of salt. This may seem like quite a bit of salt, but salt's hidden in many processed foods. If you read the nutrition facts labels, it'll show the amount of salt in a food. It'll also list the percent daily value. A food with a percent daily value of 15% or more is considered a high salt food. So make it a practice to look for your lower salt options. A heart healthy diet is also lower in your saturated and trans fats. These fats have been linked to increasing cholesterol levels. Saturated fats can be found in fattier cuts of meat, processed meat, tropical oils, lards, as well as full fat dairy products. While trans fats can be found in your fried foods, in your store bought cookies and crackers, as well as hard margarines. On the other hand, unsaturated fats are important fats to include in your diet. These fats are actually linked to lowering cholesterol levels. So these fats can be found in your nuts, avocados, olive oil, um, as well as fish and flaxseed. So try to replace some of the saturated fats in your diet with these unsaturated fats. Okay, so you talked um, and you mentioned the, the idea of different types of fats and things like that and, and some foods as well, but um, can you go over what um, types of foods specifically people can include in their meal time to have a heart healthy diet? Absolutely. Vegetables and fruit are a really important heart healthy food and unfortunately Canadians usually don't eat the recommended number of servings. In the ages of 19 to 50, Females should have seven to eight servings of vegetables and fruit per day, and males should have eight to 10 servings per day. This may seem like a lot, but if you make a few small changes, you can increase them in your day. So you can make a habit of starting every dinner time with a salad. Just make sure to go easy on the dressing. You could also challenge your family to try one new vegetable or fruit every week. Fiber is another really important heart healthy nutrient. It can help to keep your digestive system healthy, and it also may weigh it also may aid in weight loss and maintenance. Fiber is found in your whole grains, beans, lentils, vegetables and fruits. So try to include one high fiber food per day. This could be looking for a cereal that has four grams of fiber or more per serving or just adding half a cup of beans somewhere throughout your day. You could also try including a vegetarian meal in your weekly meal plan. These meals are often much higher in fiber and lower in fat. Okay that sounds great. Um, so uh, people often kind of use the excuse that they're really busy um, when they're trying to, you know, cook healthy and try different things. So what are some tips that you have uh, for us if uh, we're busy and we kind of want to adopt this heart healthy diet but we're not sure kind of how to get going? Well, the convenience foods, vending machines, fast food is all really tempting. But the most important thing is to plan ahead and be proactive. So if you can, try and eat more meals at home, but if that's not an option, plan ahead and take meals with you on the road, as well as your snacks. So for example, instead of having the fast food breakfast sandwich, plan ahead and make your own at home. You can just take a whole wheat English muffin, add a poached egg, a slice of tomato, and some low fat cheese and take that on the road with you. If you're really pinched for time, two one or two hard boiled eggs and a piece of whole fruit will work as a breakfast. Also try and have some nice heart healthy snacks on hand. Raw vegetables, almonds, apples, as well as low-fat cheese are all easy to carry around and they will help to um, get through that mid-afternoon energy slump. All right, that sounds great. Thanks for joining me, Hope. Thank you. And thanks for watching Health Matters, everyone.